Okay, I'm going to do a weigh-in live right here. I hope this works. It's on a tripod, so... Does that say 214.6? I think it does. Let's try it one more time. I'm under 215 and I've, I've uh, achieved my first um, sure, short term goal uh, within the second time that, it, well, third or fourth time that I've wanted to achieve it. But the point is, I've achieved it, so yay! Now I just need to lose 14.6 more pounds to hit my next goal of 200. I am so excited. Yes! So I was getting ready to take a shower anyway, so I decided. It would be funny for the vlog if I um, decided to put my hair in a mohawk. So I got this like styling putty and I was like putting it all in my hair and I was trying to make it go up and it just kept flooping over and there's more globs of stuff in my hair and it wasn't staying up and I couldn't get to my blow dryer and it was just a big old mess. <laughs> so then I start washing this I get in the shower start washing this stuff out of my hair and just like my hair is like coming out and I'm like oh my god if I wind up bald because of this stuff I'm gonna be so pissed because my hair is already thinning um because of my uh my hormonal imbalance and then <laughs> and then I'm just like pull, taking more like more hair out because of this stupid stuff <sighs> never gonna do that again no mohawks for me I've learned my lesson so um I wanted to talk about, I guess, the, um, this, like, hitting my goal of, uh, under 215 has, like, motivated me and inspired me a little bit. Um, I went, I, when I took Wonka out for a walk the last time I took him out, um, I walked him all the way up the, the street and usually we'll walk back, but this time I jogged back. I was, I was happy with myself. Um, so it's like the little things like that that I'll keep doing more and more and more to get a little more active. And once I hit 200, ev like ever since I've gained this weight, like I, I, ha I never used to be this heavy. I used to be pretty skinny when I was younger. Um, and, uh, as like, as after I gained all this weight, it's been a struggle for probably over 10 years uh, um, probably 10 years now um, it just up and down up and down I would I'll do stuff and then I hit a certain point and the weight loss just stops and then um, we fall back into old ways and under 200 or around 200 is, is when it always happens so I am determined that this time once I hit 200 which is still a long ways away it's gonna take a while but it's gonna happen and once I hit 200 I have to make sure I don't give up this this is so important to me and I think um, I have like all the tools and the knowledge to make it happen I just can't let myself fall back into old habits when things are when things get tough so um, I'm gonna need real 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 um, encouragement and motivation to, to keep on going but this that's as I said that's still far away we have to get there first so we still have to, I, we we like we have to still lose 15 pounds so I, I still have to lose 15 pounds to get to that and then um, we'll talk a little bit more about that when it happens but um, I'm encouraged that things are happening I guess um, I'm very excited so um, yeah I wanted a cool mohawk but it's yeah my hair is too long for that I think anyway um, I was I applied to this um, temp agency today because uh, I saw they had some jobs listed on the job website that I go to so I thought I was able gonna be able to to like sign up for the temp agency and then and then like apply to the jobs that I wanted to apply to I gotta wait for them to contact me so who knows if that's even gonna happen because the last time um I've I tried to sign up with a temp agency I had a really bad experience she never got back to me with any jobs and she acted like I didn't exist so um, that's kind of why I've it's been a while since I've joined a temp agency just because of my experience with the last one so I hope this will be better I hope they can find me something even if it is temporary but Tony started out um, 
with a temp agency and he wound up in his job today permanently so we never know and uh, my brother the same thing he started out with the temp agency and then he finally went um full time or whatever so I'm um, permanent so maybe that can happen to me um I got kind of frustrated today there's not a lot out there there's just not a lot out there um but hopefully the temp agency can find something for me I have a lot of different experience so I hope that um they'll find that I'm perfect for something that they have and if not I don't know I, I kind of dabbled I said on my Facebook and I think Twitter today that um I'm really starting to consider looking out of state for work and and maybe having to move away if it's if nothing is going on here um I can't go too much longer without a job so if I can't find something soon we might have to start looking in other states I know it, that costs money in itself but um it might be better in the long run for us I don't know I I'd rather not I like it here I love New Jersey but um if I can't make I can't if I can't live my life if I can't move on then what's the point of being here you know so I don't know that's just initial thoughts right now it's nothing nothing set in stone but that's kind of kind of where I'm heading I get distracted you know me I'm getting distracted just looking out the window so anyway I'm rambling but I um, just wanted to give you a little bit enough update on things I gotta go do the dishes I don't want to but I they gotta get done so I gotta do them so it's like really nice out like me and Tony and Wonka just went for a walk around the block a little bit um the only thing that stinks about being on the second floor, well one of the things, is that once everyone starts cooking, all the heat comes up here and it's like kind of unbearable in the house right now. So I turned on the air conditioner in the bedroom, I have a fan running in here so Wonka um, can be to try to cool Wonka down because he's panting and we still have to cook our dinner so it's going to get even worse. So. We'll see if we have to turn on the air conditioner tonight or not, but um, I just turned it on just to, to get some cool air running through the place a little bit, but I hope it'll cool off because it's been nice not having the windows closed. It's, even though Wonka likes to bark at every little thing, it's nice having the windows open and the, you know, the air coming through that does come through. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to go help with dinner now and um, yeah. Wonka is enjoying my wind, not my, not the wind, I was going to say the wind I made, but that's not appropriate, the, the, the fan that I, the, the fan that I set up for, oh, of course he's going to move, but yep, this is the setup we got going for the Wonkinator, right pup, you like it, you feeling cool, yeah, good boy, that's a good boy, right, you like the fan? Yeah, mommy did not make that wind. That was the fan that made the wind. Hey, she's like the wind. That's a good boy. So cute. You got anything to say? Nope. Okay. Bye, bye. What are you doing? I caught you trying to get the ice cream. Okay, so if you're ever in Buffalo or if you happen to have a Wegmans by you, you have to try this cake. Well, this ice cream, this cake, ice cream, ice cream, cake, cake, ice cream, whatever I'm trying to say. Sorry for the messy kitchen, but that ice cream is so good. This Perry's company is amazing. Um, they used to, at Wegmans, they used to carry a flavor called White Lightning. It's dark chocolate ice cream with uh, white mint fudge stripies in the middle and it's amazing and they don't have it at Wegmans anymore and I want to cry every time we're in the the um ice cream aisle but this Perry's ice cream they're from Buffalo and they have amazing amazing flavors so check them out um if you happen to come across them anyway I'm um, gonna end the video here um we're gonna settle in for the night so if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe leave a thumbs up and leave a comment um and i will see you tomorrow good night